How's it going, YouTube? Haven't made a video in a while. Been uh, pretty busy at work. So I thought I'd sit down. Take a little time for myself. Make a YouTube video. Smoke a pop. Check out the neighborhood on Sunday afternoon. So I'm smoking some uh, um, Peterson's Irish Flake <coughs> in uh, in a Missouri Mearsham corn cob. I can't, I don't know which pop this is, but it's this one. So it's a little windy out here. It's turned off cold. Um, it's pretty crappy actually. It's beautiful for the past week and a half, two weeks. Now it's in the 50s again. Like, my wife had to turn on the, the heater. We've had the air conditioner on. Now the heater's on. But, still a really pretty day. Trees are starting to come back. There's a lot of pollen in the air, really. Uh, you hear the birds chirping, the wind chimes going. still having a tough time with flakes uh, I tried I sort of rubbed this one to, to make it into a, more of a ribbon it tastes pretty good it's, I don't know that um, it's staying lit like I'd like it to but It tastes pretty good. Drinking some coffee. I have a nice Stanley with a bunch of Death Wish, Death Wish coffee uh, stickers on it. This is not Death Wish. I think this is a a Target. Uh, Archer Farms uh, Light Roast It's so good Any of the Target Target branded or the Archer Farms branded coffee in the uh, I get the whole bean It's really really good Need to, if you got a target near you, pick some up. It's good coffee. Hadn't had a chance to watch a bunch of videos lately. Uh, I'm, I'm probably a solid two weeks behind. I saw where um, Hillman who is, um, he, I subscribed to him, and I, I think he subscribed to me, but I saw where he's he's having some health issues a couple weeks ago. Uh, hope he gets better. Uh, Hillman, Skeletal Popper. Um, I hope everything's working out there. If there's any updates, I'm sorry I, I hadn't watched. But, when people get sick, man, it, it sucks. My my mother-in-law's got some serious health issues.
and it when it hits people it hits them hard but hope he gets better oh, smoke a bowl for him he's always seemed like a really cool guy uh, that's the thing about it the 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 pop community in general not just YouTube but Instagram the brick and mortars that I go to uh, just tobacco it's amazing how tobacco brings people together and doesn't matter doesn't matter you know where excuse me doesn't matter your status in life if you smoke good tobacco cigarettes I, I'm I'll draw the line at cigarettes they they don't necessarily do the same thing but if you're a a, a tobacco lover in, in pop tobacco or so good cigars or what I may consider bad cigars but cigars good hand rolled cigars um, even stuff like you know the the people that that do snuff and just good quality tobacco it brings people together and it's amazing how it does that I a buddy of mine went down to where he's he's gonna have his wedding he's gonna have his wedding in Mobile Alabama he was in Fairhope which is a city right there near Mobile at a little tobacco shop and he told me this story where the owner of the tobacco shop was in there, nicest man in the world. Had he just like talked to him about cigars, took him took him into the back to meet all the people and said, "Hey guys, I want you to meet meet David. This this is David. Um, this, this is Steve. This is so so." And he just goes around the room, says, "You know, everybody introduces themselves. And everybody's really nice about it." And David sits down and they they get to talking, they're smoking cigars, and, uh, drinking bourbon, and just having a good old time. And they they start talking and it's like, Oh Steve, what do you do? Well, I own a couple oil fields out in Texas and, uh, I do this, that and the other. And the other guy's a doctor and, uh, the other guy's an investment banker. They there are all these different, like, you know, high-paying, high-status jobs. David's like, well, I, I'm a, I'm a HR manager for a for a big retailer. And they're like, oh, they they've got a corporate office there in Birmingham. No, no, it's it's just a store. Oh, that's cool. I, I bet that's like, they accept it. They don't care. They're you know, Steve, whoever Steve is, apparently is talking about it's easier to have his jet in Fairhope than it is in Daphne because it's 12 miles closer. His jet. Steve, whoever Steve is, didn't care what David did or how much money he didn't make. Uh, they were all in there sharing tobacco and, and good times together. And, uh, it was... Seemed like a pretty cool story. Seemed like a pretty cool place. But, um, you hear the train. That's the Amtrak. We get the Amtrak and we get just regular freight trains combined. It's a good almost half a mile from my house, but you can't tell. You can't tell. Suckers get out here and it's like dueling train horns. One will come from that way and the other one will come from this way and they meet in the middle and they're just, woo, 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 just blowing horns constantly. Two o'clock in the morning dueling train horns. It's, I swear to God, it's crazy. But it is what it is. My point with that little story though is if it wasn't for tobacco and the community around tobacco, those people never would have met. 
David, Steve, and Barry, and whoever. Never would have met each other, never would cross paths, but tobacco done that. And they met good people and they'd probably help each other on the side of the road if they saw them. I know David would. He saw somebody he met on the side of the road with a flat tire, he'd pull over and help. But it's just amazing how how tobacco can can make people forget about who they are or where they come from and and be nice. I think a lot of that's inherent human nature. I think some of us are just nice people. Some of us are not, but see, it won't stay lit. I don't know if it's because it's so windy out here or what, but I mean, it tastes good. It's just not staying lit like I'd like it to. Uh, like I said, I still haven't got the flakes down, but uh, it's better than nothing. Anyways, nothing new going on. Um, well, there's a little bit new. I'm looking for another job. Maybe. I don't know. I'm pissed off. Hey, I got my, my annual review and raise. I'm just not getting paid what I should get paid. I've complained about it. And I asked for more money. We'll see what they do. But I got a feeling they're, they're not going to make it right. And I, I go somewhere else. Just out of principle. Not, I make plenty of money to, to support my family. I make good money. But I don't make what a person with my experience and my results should make. So I'm pissed off about it. Uh, so we'll... We'll see. If I have to go somewhere else, I have to go somewhere else. So be it. Like I told my, my boss, I was looking for a job when I found this one. So, no skin off my teeth. This wind won't even let me smoke out here. I can't even light it. It's horrible. I've got to get a, a, a pop insert for my Zippo. I, I got a couple Zippos. I got one my dad gave me. And, one little plain Zippo that I picked up at Walmart. And I want a pop insert for it. That seems like it'd be somewhat easier. I'll, I mean, I gotta admit, a, a Bic is about as easy as it gets. But I guess that'll be it for today. Just a little bit of rambling, a little bit of complaining. A little bit of excitement and joy about the the greatness of tobacco. Uh, but I'll sit out here and finish this. And sit out here and finish this. Make another video soon. May make another EDC video today. Um, but here's to you guys. Here's to you guys' health. Hope you get feeling better, Hillman. Uh, anybody else is under the weather. Y'all have a good day. See you.